let us look at this problem which of the following is incorrect regarding the ratio impact of lease accounting on the lessee the current ratio is lower for the capital lease than the operating lease the asset turnover is lower for the capital lease than operating lease the return on asset is higher for capital lease than operating lease in the early years of lease so as mentioned in the previous problem in the case of a capital lease the lessee recognizes the carrying value of the lease in the asset side as well as the liability side so in the liability side that amount goes down by paying interest as well as the principal amount whereas the asset side is depreciated the carrying value of the lease the present carrying value of the lease is depreciated this is this is the arrangement under financing lease or capital lease now under operating lease the entire payment is made at a the rental payment and it is an off balance sheet activity hence nothing is added to the asset or the liability side so let us look at the first option the current ratio is lower for the capital lease than operating lease now current ratio is equal to current assets by current liabilities now the portion now the portion the portion of the interest now the liabilities is treated as a debt the liabilities the lease payment or the carrying value of the lease is treated as a debt so the interest part of that debt will increase my current liabilities but the current assets will remain the same hence the current ratio is lower for capital lease than operating lease now the asset turnover is lower for capital lease than operating lease so in the capital lease we are including something on the asset side as well as the liabilities side so my asset value as a whole goes up so the turnover ratio where asset comes in the denominator goes down so hence my asset turnover is lower for capital lease than the operating lease now the return on asset is higher for capital lease than operating lease in the early years of life in the early years of lease the the net income under capital lease is lower as compared to operating lease so my net income is lower and my asset value is higher which means that the roa is lower for capital lease and hence this option is incorrect this statement is incorrect and i have been asked that which of the following is the incorrect option so my answer will be option c